Well, what I've decided to do is um, mix up uh, writing and self-publishing uh, tips with regard to um, heavily worded books, uh, long form books if you like, um, with little bits and bobs that people really want to know who don't want to learn to write. They want to publish things like low content books, colouring books, um, photo books, um, books on their own adventures and personal uh, personal trips and things like that. And even birthday uh, presents and things for the family. So yeah, I'm going to try and mix it up a bit so that we don't get all bogged down in, um, in how to write, uh, which is really the, the direction I'm going to get you to go at, at some point. So keep checking back on these tips and uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel if you if you get the chance. Well, you've got the chance. Do it now. Subscribe to my channel. Right. Okay. So really quickly, how to make coloring pages. Yeah, I'm just checking my cursor there. I couldn't uh, I couldn't see it for its uh, greenness. So the first thing we want to do is custom size in Canva. Now, we go to inches. It's automatically set to pixels, so just double check that. And Amazon really likes to use inches, so if you're thinking of going to self-publish a colouring book, then stick with inches. It just makes things uh, easier. And uh, not everybody uses the metric system. In America, they don't. Uh, in the UK, it's sort of half and half. We use miles on the road and metric for other things. It's quite a strange one, really. Right, so what we've got is eight and a half inches is the width of the book you require by 11 inches tall. Now we want to add some bleed to the page, which means the images can go right to the edges. They can go over the edges, overlap, but they're going to get trimmed off. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll allow for bleed. Now on the width of a book, I always allow... 0.125 inches and on the height of the book I like to leave 0 0.250 inches so with an 8.5 inch wide book eight and a half inch book we're going to add 8.625 the height is 11 inches so we go start off with 11 point 250 and that's it that's allowed for the bleed of the page and that's job done on that so we create the design okay so here's our page and I'm just going to add a little bit of color here uh, I won't use that because of my green cursor I'll use a bit of yellow we're going to type in mandala black and white now I do that I put the black and white in I type that just so that it cuts out all the searching through all the different colors. Now, as you can see here, these little symbols here are pro accounts. Yeah, and most of these images are pro accounts. No, that's not. That, uh, that GIF, which is uh, a moving image. And I'll show you in a minute how we search for the others. But let me just give you an example of this. So if I choose this image okay now as we can see we can see right through it because we can see the yellow in the background it's all lines and then transparent in the centers and let's choose another image we'll go with this one now as we can see in the list here you can't see through it at all it's a white fill so just to double check it's a white fill we go to this top bit here and if there's an option to choose another color just make sure it's on the white, because sometimes they're grey. Sometimes they're a little bit off-white. The next one up, or cream or grey. You know, so it's, it's, it's worth just, just making sure that that is white. Now, the reason I'm using these two images is, to give you an example, is firstly, if I stretch this image, we come to the border. Now, if we're not using bleed, you stop at that border. You don't go past it, because... Amazon won't allow it really it's it's not going to work so with bleed we can go right to the edge but we're going to get trimmed off 
somewhere it might only be a couple of millimeters see i've got metric there haven't i it might only be it might only be a touch but if we go somewhere between the inside border and the outside edge so it's a halfway mark and just have a little guesstimate on that so we've got the inside frame there and the outside border are sort of in the middle now we can move that about and do what we want but we've got to make sure we're at least some way away from the edges so that we're not going to get trimmed off because there's nothing worse than having a coloring page like this with no line on the edges now people fill their coloring pages up like that they'll they'll duplicate that they'll copy and they'll paste and they'll drag that over to there and they'll fill up another spec but you see you've got no border you've got no outline edge and you can't really put one on the edge of the page because it's getting trimmed off so somewhere which we don't know where so keep it within inside, inside so there's no bits missing it's easy to color now with this one with the white back with the white uh, in the background or the fill white fill I should say we'll stretch it again to somewhere similar and we'll move it down a little bit now what you're looking at there is the reason it's always a good idea to put the translucent ones or transparent ones in the background because if I put it in the foreground or let's just say front so if I um, send that to the back we just end up with a mess because the transparent one is letting us see what's behind it whereas the solid one with the white fill is um, is not and I'll show you that now so we'll send send that one again to the back so this one's in the front and yeah that looks great so I've made up a, a nice little page there and I'll just get rid of this temporary color that I have put in and that looks pretty good so you can mess about with all these uh, mandalas you can mess about with animal images and all the things that um, Canva gives you now if you're using the free version let me just delete this if you're using the free version go to the top up here and click on that what looks like an equalizer you've got options here for pro and free click on the free apply the filters and then you're given all the images that are free for you to choose from You know, you obviously got more with the Pro, but uh, you're not finished with the free version. And you don't have to stop here with these with the free version. You can go to any um, Bechtezi or um, another kind of online image sharing site. I say sharing, you can buy the pro version with some of them sites or you can use the free versions. But there's always images for you to download and you can put them inside this picture. And you can just download them, like I say, and then use this upload button here to choose your images. From your file that you've downloaded and just plonk them in just like you've done with these. And yeah, it's that simple. So OK, downloading them. Click the share button. You may just have a download button but we click the share button we want the download button and we can save it as a png if we do that i advise you saving it as a transparent background that way the inside is the same as the outside and if it's a transparent image meaning there's no white fill uh, you'll still get the same background all the way around and it's just uh, saves on file space too so download and png and transparent image or transparent background as it says there don't mess with the sizes the sizes is already set and that's it download it and that's your image you can just print that off and you can make lots of these kind of things save them because they actually save you can put them into a folder uh, and away you go now if you want to make a book or lots of images just add a page 
create another one just like you've done the first one add a page add a page and so on go back to your share button to your download option and then click print uh, PDF print and download job done now you can use that as an internal uh, file for your KDP you can send it in an email you can do whatever you want with it but it's as simple as that to make coloring books in Canva